morning guys. So we are on our way into Dubuque today. Miss T's with us and Sky kept Aspen this morning because Matt, who's struggling to get his seatbelt going, uh, Matt is uh, on his way to an interview this morning. He had an interview on the phone today. So he's got several things kind of in the works and going on. He's also been talking to his current employer just to kind to kind of see what's going on there so we're kind of at a standstill right now we don't really know what's going on but there's I will say there's some cool things in the works so um, we'll let you know more when we know more but right now he's on his way to yet another job interview so um, just kind of trying to keep things open and um, do the right thing for our family so once we know and once all the things have been ironed out we'll let you guys know what's going on and if you look guys you'll see that there is a shirt <laughs> drying right here for Matt he uh you know how it goes you know you're in a hurry you're trying to get things done he was making great time today and then like this unexpected phone interview happens and so of course he's running a little bit later than he expects to be and um he's wearing this lovely white shirt ready to go for his interview he's ready for the day and we stopped to get gas and of course our Mountain Dews you know we've always got our Mountain Dews I can't even show them there always got our Mountain Dews and he goes to put the cup in the car and the whole side of the cup explodes all over him gets all over his white shirt all over his pants so I'm like all right I'm like you go home and get a shirt and I'll go in and get you a new pop and the lady that runs the gas station she's really really awesome my son works for her and uh, she's really awesome and I walk in and she's like what happened so I told her and she's like ah, just give him the pop so she gave him a new pop I think she was feeling bad for him today with his wet shirt in this interview <laughs> all right so T is gonna help pick out she's like stop it leave me alone she's gonna help pick out her brother's birthday present which is long overdue we are headed to get it because this weekend we're gonna it's have nice. his birthday party it's nice in here oh my god i'm living in here but he's gonna have to put up with me she's loving bam right now because it's nice and cool and it's so it's humid so outside nice. so humid guys this is my favorite place to be i gotta I show you like where's it at it's all the way in the back i'm leaving them but right here this is my favorite place to be I can't see it romance section yeah because you know that's what I write romance here to get his birthday present GameStop what are you looking for I don't know yet I'm shaky he's on the hunt he's on the hunt for video games so T wants this sign for her door like that. I'm too lazy to make friends, but I said that. I just need them both because they all fit me. That National she needs Society. this one right here, National Sarcasm Society. I yeah. do. What's it say? Like we need your support. That's that's T right there. It is. Mm -hmm. I'm so sarcastic. So Matt was out looking at uh, books for the kids, and he just wants to know if he can see what's wrong with this one. My first Wonder Woman book, Touch and Feel. <laughs> For us ladies, there is Touch and touch Feel, and feel Batman. Batman, Touch and Feel Superman. <laughs> oh my God. So we did end up getting Braxton his birthday present. He got uh, Mario Kart DS and Tierlin is just being a stink pants. I think she's going to be grounded for the rest of eternity. I don't know. But yeah, we got a Mario Kart for DS, so he'll enjoy that, and he can play it with his little brother Zane, and he can play it with T on her system, so uh, yeah, I, he should be a happy kid. That music that you're listening to, yeah, Matt's making us jam to the music he created for his YouTube channel. For my gameplay. For his gameplay. And there it was guys and his YouTube channel is Kermit is God yep all Kermit, together all together and the thumbnail he uses I make yes T made his thumbnail he makes his music for his channel 
So check not, it out. Go over for there. Children. Yeah, it is not for children. It is it is not a family it's an channel. Adult gaming channel. Um, but go on over there. I'll leave the link below in the comments and like and subscribe if you want. And hey, leave him a message. He's always happy to get back with people. So let him know what you think. Leave him a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Now I'm getting ready to head in to get Miss T a hook and eye for her door because as I showed you in one of our previous episodes, um, she has an amazing Monster High collection. And her little brother Aspen went in there and took her one doll gill because it has this removable, like, what, it's his, uh, it's, it's like his air mask. Yeah. Um, and he took it out of her room and pulled the air mask off. And thankfully it goes back on. But yeah, he says to me, head, head, like his Lego guys, he takes the head off. And he was taking the air mask off her doll and she was really upset yesterday so I'm gonna get a hook and eye for the outside of her door so she well, can put really, it on I didn't even notice he was missing yeah but she was still she was she I, was, I was she was upset that he was in her room so we're gonna try to alleviate that problem for her because you guys know little brothers and sisters they get into stuff they're not supposed to a lot so. Woo, down the tree oh my he is just in one of those moods today does somebody want to adopt a man do you want you want to adopt? It? He's up for wants. adopton. I I could charge a rehoming fee, but I I think I'll lie. just I'll let somebody adopt him. I want him to go to a good don't home. Lie. You no, I'm just get I couldn't. You're right. I love him too much. But I don't know. Leave a comment below. Will you adopt him? Right. I am on the hunt for a hook and eye somewhere, anywhere. Hardware? Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Mm, I hope they have them. I don't see any, you guys. I might not be, oh wait, what do we have? No, hardware case. Ooh, fly swatters. I need a hook and eye. Hmm, I don't think I'm gonna find them here, guys. Alright, so no luck. We are still on the hunt for a hook and eye for T's room. Well, we just got back from Dubuque and we did not get Tierlin her um, hook and eye. I'm actually going to look through some of the doors in the house because there's existing hook and eyes and see if I can't just scavenge one off of some of the rooms on the side of the house that I'm on. It's all one house, but like I've said, our house has eight bedrooms. It's got 19 rooms total, not including a full attic and basement. And so... It's just kind of a big, crazy house, and up on the upstairs of this side where my writing room is, there are four bedrooms that are not in use right now. We're gutting all of those. So I'm going to go see if I can't check up there and snitch um, a hook and eye off one of those doors. If not, I'm going to check the dollar store here because I think they have some um, in one of the junk drawers that I have. I might have one there, but we just didn't want to make another stop while we were in Dubuque. Wanted to make sure we were home on time to get the kids. And Skylar was watching Aspen today for us, so we wanted to be back before he woke up from his nap because Sky has worked all week, and this is his first day off, so it was really sweet that he watched Aspen while Matt went to his job interview. Um, and I said I'd give you an update. He's gotten several calls back, so we're just kind of waiting to see what decision he makes and what decision they make, and, and then we'll let you know what's going on in that area of our home. Now what's happening tomorrow, Miss Ireland? My field trip. Where'd you go? You're hiding over there. Yeah, she has a field trip tomorrow. Zane had one today. He went to the National Mississippi River Museum and he is not, not out of school yet. We're waiting for him. Hi. Yeah. But Ireland has her end of the year field trip tomorrow and she was telling us that we have to, what are we doing? Pack my life. Yes, Mr. Zane was relentless last night. He kept asking Matt and I, he kept saying, hey, you need to pack my lunch. Until like one in the morning. Yeah. He was so stressed out, but that comes with uh, you wait, I can't wait. his autism. He worries a lot. Yeah. He worries that things won't be the way they're supposed to be. Mom even had to walk him into school because he didn't know what he would do with going, they eat breakfast at school, and he didn't know what he would do if 
he had to eat breakfast or not because he couldn't miss this field trip. And he wouldn't take our word for it. So mom had to walk him into school. And then they told him, yes, Zane, go to breakfast. Yeah, he was afraid he was going to miss the trip. And he said, no, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You have to walk me in. So I said, okay. And a little secret here is Matt and I usually take the kids to school in the morning. And mom rides in her pajama pants. So mom couldn't ride in her pajama pants today. Well, that's going to be changing soon by the looks of it. Yeah. Um. A lot of good things coming. Matt just received a an offer sheet. An offer sheet, and he's Keeping not able to really talk about what was on the offer sheet, but it's a very, very good job offer. So looks like he's yeah. It it would be, be very busy. Yeah, he'll be very busy, and it would be very silly not to accept this offer. So. He's going to go ahead and do it, but that means that life is going to change once again in our house. But we'll get through it, and it and we'll make it work. Changes. It does always change. That's part of being a family, huh? Things change, and you got to work with you it. Move? Well, we haven't had to move in a no. very long time. No. Yeah. And what do what you know about? You've moved once in your life. Twice. No, once. No, she was born at the other house. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, you did move twice. She's lived in three houses. In two cities. In two cities since she was born. What else changes sometimes when you're family? Do you know any other things? Sometimes you don't have money. Sometimes <laughs> you don't. You go through rough times. She's right. right. Sometimes you have a little amount of money. Yep. Sometimes you have a little amount of money. Sometimes you have a big amount of money. Sometimes... A lot of money. Yeah. Sometimes. Hey, you got a lot of money? Yeah. You have a loan? Me too. <laughs> I only have one. She's not alone in the bank's clothes. You got a dollar? I didn't know that. You got a dollar? It's missing. Oh. Oh, you got a missing dollar? What'd you have a dollar for? Um, um, I spent it. Nah! You have to pay me back a dollar now. I didn't <laughs> spend your dollar. We didn't even know she had a dollar. Oh, there comes the Zaner. Zane man's coming. Where's he at? Looking confused. We didn't get to go to see the dinosaur. Why? Where did you go? Well, do you know what that means? That means we're going to have to go right. see the dinosaurs Where then. Did you go? How come you didn't see the dinosaurs? Cost we extra. weren't doing it. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Well, Braxton got his birthday present today. What did he get? And I bet you you'll have fun with his birthday present. But what you better make sure you know where your DS is and make sure it's charged up. What is it? You can't tell, though. You can't tell him. I don't have a DS, so I won't be able to. Mario Kart. Which one? Uh, just Mario Kart DS. Me, him, and Jimmy. Oh. Yep, that's why yeah. we got that one. It's all three of these play. Dad knew what he was doing. Man, Aspen convinced me to uh, take him outside to play. It has been really hot, which is why he is not wearing a shirt. And he fell and skinned up his arm just a little bit ago on the sidewalk. And now he's playing with his Band-Aid. He keeps telling me he has owls everywhere. Do you have an owl? Yeah. Yeah. Help. Help. You just play eye. Oh, do I have an owl? Yeah. Yeah. Are you fixing my owl? Yeah. Thank you. We have put on the fake. Oh, you got to put it there. You want to put it what? Are you gonna put it on my pants? Uh, yeah, I don't want to break. Wait, you're gonna fall off the stairs. Careful. She put it in wreck. Oh, hey, puppies. <laughs> There's no puppy. You and your puppies. No. Oh, careful, is... hey, careful. What what are you doing? You gotta put it on your feet. Yeah. Yeah. You're putting it on your feet. Oh look at you put it on your foot. I mean I'm pretty on my feet on the right. Yeah? Ow. Ow, where else I'm do you have an owl? Open 
Oh, you got more owls on your feet? Yeah, I put on feet. On your feet, huh? Yeah. 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 You're cute. You want to put it in your head? Oh, yes, I have one in my hair. You want to put it in a rack? <laughs> Where you put it in a rack? You put it in a rack. You just, you're putting it everywhere. Everything has an owl, huh? What? What happened? What happened? Oh. What about your head off? Oh, yeah, it's on my head. Yeah, I want your head off. What? Is it on my arm? Oh, now it's on my back. It's on the door. My Hi. back? I don't know. We have always everywhere. Where are you going? I'm not going. I'm not. <laughs> what about your head? You're going to put. Aw, oh, did you just kiss my owie? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that was so nice of oh, you. I don't know how to fix. Oh, no one is so fixed. Ah, no one. What are you doing? I brought me. What are you doing? Oh, thank you. Are you putting a sticker on my eye? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you want to buy Oh, thank you. Oh. You want to buy a Mmm, oh my, ew. Mmm, oh. yum. Mm. Mom. Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, right. not yummy. You want a nubby? No, I, I don't want any. You want an apple? No, it's not an apple. You want an eye? No? No, I don't want to eat it. No, I don't. No. Eat an apple? No, I don't want to eat an apple. Eat, eat apple. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. So that um, apple he was trying to feed me was a sticker from their little John Deere Gator that he was just playing on a few minutes ago. And it's been sitting outside for quite some time. It smells nice and musty. Nasty. Mmm, yum. Are you playing with ants? Where'd he go? I'll go. To know where'd he go? Oh, you go in wreck? Where'd he go? He's going there. Yeah? You want to see him back there? Yeah. You want to see him? Yeah. Oh. Hee hee. I do the same thing. Let go. You see him now and put it on back. You want to see him on the middle? Oh. Ooh. Are you over the ark? What? No, do I eat it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you How's that grass taste? would be where messy faced two-year-olds come from. Come Eating dirt, grass, ants, stickers off of gators, snitching their mother's pop. What are you drinking? Did you snitch my pop? Mm. Can I have it back? Well, thank you. I got a pop? Yeah, I have a pop. Can I have a pop? <laughs> hey, what? What happened? What a face. Oh my goodness. What do you what are you doing? No, you can't climb on there. What are you doing? Were you swinging on there?
You got it. Yeah, I know. Oh, you just, oh, no, don't stick it in my nose. No, don't stick it in your nose. We already had to take you to the doctor over something in your nose. No, don't eat it, Ak. No, don't put it in your nose. Welcome. Yeah. If you didn't see some of the previous vlogs, and we did not um, have it on there when it happened because we weren't vlogging at that point. But Aspen actually stuck an eraser from a pencil up his nose, <laughs> bit it off and stuck it up his nose. Then, it must have been bothering him. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, I love you too. You're such a honey. But it must have been bothering him, so apparently he followed it up with a mechanical. Mama! Mom! What? Help! You... Help! I can't help. You are yeah. such a monkey. You know. Yeah, help you know. Help me down. Help you down. Help. You help me back. So then he followed it up by sticking a mechanical pencil <laughs> up his nose, and the eraser came off that. Yeah. So I went to give him a kiss. I don't know, and he had kind of had a cold, and I noticed it. And he was starting to smell funny. And I thought, well, maybe it's just because he has a little sinus infection. And then the smell got worse and worse and worse. So I was like, that's it. We got to take him to the doctor. Get him to the doctor. And he had not one but two erasers stuck up his nose. So that was a fun experience. We ended up at the ear, nose, and throat specialist to get him taken out because they couldn't get it out in the emergency room. It was a fun smelly experience yeah. yeah you he's so too so Aspen's all excited because he is going with mom and dad to go pick up his big brother from his after-school activity there you can see his owie in the background are you going bye-bye yeah bye-bye yeah you going bye-bye he loves going bye-bye our little shirtless wonder Happy so birthday. Braxton oh sweet how much was this <laughs> you don't even know what do you think? Do you like it? It's cool. Where'd you get it from? Uh, game shop. So this cute, smiling little man that I'm cuddling with, yeah, it's about 11 o'clock at night, and he's still awake, huh? Yeah, he's still awake. For some reason, the last two nights, yeah. <laughs> he's so naughty. The last couple of nights, he has not gone to bed at his normal time. So I don't know what's going on, but he's having a snack, and and we'll see. You gotta go, Nana. Hey, you gotta go, Nana. He's like, Mom, I'm snacking and watching TV. This could be the problem here. Snacking and watching TV. Maybe. Battery's just off schedule, because summer's here, and it's getting lighter, or staying lighter a lot longer. It is the end of our day, and um, Zane actually came home from his field trip, and as you noticed, he was kind of upset, and, um, and Matt had said a little bit about, you know, having autistic children, and, um, and that's true in our family, is we do have two children that are autistic, and you know, they, they say when you've met one autistic child, you've met one autistic child. Um, they're all so very different. Um, and how they handle things is very different. And so Zane came home and he has been sleeping since he got home from school. Well, he woke up for a little bit about an hour after he got home. And we had thought it was because the day was just so very stressful on him. And then he had a very, very high fever. So Matt and I went and got some children's ibuprofen and Tylenol for him and gave him that. And his temperature has since come down, um, but he has been sleeping all night. Um, and so we're just going to check and see in the morning, see how he's doing to see if he's actually really not feeling well because he was running a fever or 
if he had just it's been so hot and he was out in the heat walking around. I mean, I know they were at a museum, but I know that they were outdoors today too. Ireland actually came home with a headache and was not feeling well. And I gave her some ibuprofen and she's doing a lot better now. And she was running a slight temp. So I don't know if they were just overheated or if he actually still is not feeling well because we did have this virus going through the house. But I'm thinking it could be a lot to do with the heat and the stress that he went through. And, um, we have decided to homeschool Zane along with Tierlin next year. Um, for whatever reasons, we decided to homeschool. But um, today is a prime example of one of the reasons that we decided to homeschool because things like this are just very, very stressful for him. And so if I plan out a field trip for Zane and I say we're going to go see the dinosaurs, which no one may have told him that, but he assumed because they're at the River Museum that they were going to go see the dinosaurs. Um, and so that was something that all week, that's all he's talked about and he's planned for and he was going to see the dinosaurs and he's huge into like Jurassic World and stuff. So um, that being said, if I were to plan a field trip with him and we were going to the River Museum, we would have gone to see the dinosaurs. And... I know that kids go through disappointment and disappointment is part of life. Um, but when you are handling a child that has a disability, you as, I guess we, not you, but as a parent of a child with disabilities, you do have to become a buffer for them. Um, they need that extra help. You have to become a buffer for them. It just, at least that's how Matt and I look at it. Um, you have to, because there, he's already dealing with so many stressors in the world and all children deal with stressors. And so you have to deal with each of them on an individual basis. And he was already dealing with so many stressors though, to add stressors that he may not have had to have, um, to me, it's just not worth it. And so letting him go to school in more of a controlled environment during these formative years for him and finding other ways for him to socialize, that's the reason we've come to the decision that we have with him. Um, and, and he's very much for it. He's very excited to homeschool next year. Um, and we've got that in the works and set up for him. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to put a side note in for um, kind of, I mean, this is, you know, we're vlogging, we're showing you a piece of our life and this is one of them. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have had a great day and have a great night. We'll see you all tomorrow.